Now, last week, BBC Two screened an eye-opening documentary charting a year in the lives of three teenage friends in Rochdale. Three Girls and Three Babies is a bleak reflection of the poverty, lack of aspiration and dependency on benefits that exist in the area. By the end, two of the girls had babies and one had left Rochdale for good. Joining me now is Simon Danchuk, the Labour candidate for Rochdale, who says the film must act as a massive wake-up call for the people of Rochdale, as well as for the politicians who govern it. Simon, welcome to the show. It was a pretty bleak picture show problems in housing, education, yeah, parenting. Who do you think is to blame? Well, very sad and very depressing programme, there's no doubt about that. I think there's a whole raft of uh, reasons why people end up in that sort of situation and, and I think the responsibility really rests with the local authority, with the council there, and with the MP as well, but also with central government. So we're talking about every level of government, really, in terms of how you solve these problems. But people would say, fundamentally, it is the problem of the government before it is the problem of local authorities. And as a Labour candidate... What do you think the Labour government should be doing? Yeah, well, well the, other, the other group that have to take responsibility as well are the children themselves and the parents of the children as well. So it's not just for politicians to solve these problems. But I, I would argue that the government, uh, you know, set in place a whole raft of different initiatives to try and help uh, sort out these problems, provide lots of funding, working neighbourhoods fund, uh, tax credits, lots of childcare provision, go back ten years and well, the very little childcare provision. People might say it is those provision. government policies that are sort of perpetuating this dependency on benefits that in a sense mm. the government's responsibility for these young girls thinking, well I'm entitled to have a house, I'm entitled to have two babies. Yeah, I, I, but from watching the programme, I don't think that's what came through. And what a lot of people, well, many people blame young mothers like that, uh, and, and they say that they have the children to get a property, but that isn't the impression I got from the documentary. I thought it was a very professionally produced mm. uh, programme. I don't think it showed Rochdale in a fair light. There are lots of be beautiful parts to Rochdale, uh, and that didn't come through at all. Uh, but it, what it did show is that the problems are around economic and social issues that people face. And it's really for local councils uh, to implement the uh, solutions on the ground. Mm. You can't do it from Whitehall, you can't do it from London. The accountable body is the local authority and other agencies and getting them to work together. And that's why I say that you need the MP to bang the drum to improve uh, services. You need the MP to encourage investment in the town. And you need the local authority. And I would argue that the local authority doesn't do particularly well in terms of social services. In Rochdale specifically? In Rochdale specifically. So, for example, they had a very poor rating in terms of adult care relatively recently. That's be begun to improve uh, more recently. Uh, educational attainment's OK, but it's certainly not fantastic. Uh, the youth offending team was under scrutiny in the Guardian newspaper last week uh, following an inspection. So I think what the local authority does in Rochdale... Uh, it goes for some big bang approaches to regeneration. We're going to have a new town centre, mm. we've got Kingsway Business Park. Often that doesn't come to reality. So all the issues that you mentioned at the beginning around the need to create jobs, the need to improve housing, uh, the need to improve educational attainment, they really need to concentrate on that social dimension well, to people's lives. you say that's not lives. about central government and Whitehall. Surely it is. Surely that's what it's all about. Well, so, yeah, well... But people can't have it every, every which way. You can't say we want uh, to be able to make decisions locally and decide what the best solutions are for Rochdale or for somewhere else like the Liberal Democrats would. We want to make local decisions. But when it's not working or they're not doing a particularly good job of it, you can't blame central government. You can't have it every which way. Something so, quite shocking that came out mm. of it, though, was some of what can only be deemed racist language yeah. coming out of the girls' mouths. Are you concerned, especially with an election coming up, that it's young people like that and perhaps ex-Labour voters mm. that will be turning to the BMP? There's already a seat in the European Parliament from this region that's yeah. gone to the BMP. Yeah. What are Labour going to do to stop those votes yeah. going towards I, them? Well, I think people who, who find themselves in a di difficult economic social situation are looking for somebody to blame, and it's often the case that the Asian community get blamed mm. for that. Uh, I've, heard, I've often heard that on the streets of Rochdale when I'm knocking on doors, but at the same time I've heard Asian uh, residents blaming the Eastern, pop Eastern Bloc population for coming in and taking jobs. The reality is it's not about race, it's about the economic situation in the town. That's the real issue. But people don't always focus on that. I accept it. Rochdale actually has. Where the local authority does reasonably well, I think, is in terms of community cohesion. So the BMP in Rochdale has a very low presence in reality. I'm not saying there aren't people who have concerns like them 
girls in the program uh, but community co cohesion is quite strong in the town and that's something that we can actually be but proud of. Are you of. concerned with the election coming up that people who traditionally might have voted for you would now be voting for the BNP? Well, I, I want people to vote for me because I, because they believe I have the solutions for sorting Rochdale out. Uh, I don't think it's a matter of race. I think it's a matter of people deciding how can we improve Rochdale. And, you know, there's lots of work to be done. If there were a town that needed some attention, then Rochdale is it. Mm. But uh, in terms of race, I think that's a different issue. I think we have to concentrate on creating jobs... Uh, creating opportunities for young people. Uh, we have to get better accreditation of private landlords. Some of the properties that you saw those uh, youngsters living in were absolutely appalling. And uh, they have an accreditation scheme for private landlords. Everybody has a story about a private landlord not treating them particularly well. Some of that that we saw I thought were absolutely appalling. And yeah. it's the council that accredits that uh, scheme, so there's lots of work to be done. OK, thank you very much, Sam and Dan Chuck. Good to see you. Thank you. Okay.